This is Sam Drinks Beer, and this is a beer review. So, today's beer comes from one of my favourite breweries. It's only actually the second beer I've done from them on this channel, and it's Verdant. And it is a can of Enjoy the Uncertainty. Now, this one looks interesting, because... Well, it doesn't say on the can. I think the description on Untapped said it was a IPA masquerading as a dipper. To be fair to it, it's not too far from a dipper itself. It's seven point two percent, but the hops in it are quite are quite a bit crazy, really, because it uses well, no, sorry, not six different hops. Sorry, five different hops across the hot side and the cold side. So it's got Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe hot side. And cold side, it's got Laurel, Mosaic, and Nelson Sorbin. So, should be getting all sorts of flavours from this, from that hot bill. So, I mean, if there's one brewery, you go into it knowing it's going to be what you're going to get, it's verdant. So, let's crack it open. Oh, it just oh, it smells so good as it's pouring. Oh my word, the aroma's coming off that. I'm not even holding it that close to my nose. Oh, it's got to go closer. Oh, so punchy. When was, the, when was this canned? 6th of September, so we're talking two weeks ago today. So, yeah. Fresh. I have to say, when I say two weeks ago today, we're talking about the day this is being filmed because it will be a bit longer when this comes out. So yeah, I do I do know my maths. I'm just doing it from <laughs> the filming day. Just in case any of you are wondering, I'm sure you all got common sense, but there's always one in there going, "Well, actually, it's." But <laughs> Anyway, I don't want I hadn't rambled off yet, and then I go on one already. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Grapefruit. Got that sort of Nelson, you can tell the Nelson Sorbin, the sort of white wine character from that. The gooseberries as well. Pineapple. Mango. Bit of lime, lemon, orange, oh, just all the fruits, even a sort of touch of pine as well. So I guess it's coming from the Simcoe. Bit of berry flavours, probably from the mosaic. I've had a lot of mosaic beers recently. <clears throat> Mosaic's the only hot that's both cold and hot side, yeah. So you'd argue that possibly would be the most dominant. I don't know. But, oh, it's, it just smells like a fruit cocktail. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's dive in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that is good. Oh. oh, this is a banger. This is an absolute banger. Oh, the amount of flavour. Oh, there's everything. There's berries. There's lime. There's mango. There's a bit of dankness. Oh god. There's white rot wine. Gooseberry. Lemon. It 
just so soft the mouthfeel and the body are just it's absolutely stunning so creamy oh my days It's just nailed it. They've nailed everything. Oh, dear <laughs> me. I often say, well, I always say, <laughs> Fruit Car Site Expedition by Verdant is probably the best beer I've had by them. And one of the best pale beers I've had. That's a double IPA. This isn't quite a double IPA, but gosh, this is running it close because... This is absolutely beautiful. <sighs> it's just got everything, like, it's a fruit cocktail. It's an actual fruit cocktail, it's just... <laughs> all the fruits, like... I mean, I listed a bunch of fruits. There's other, like, fruits, well, I've not, probably not even mentioned her in this. Like, if I've listed all the fruits I could taste from this, we'll be here all day. It's just, oh, it is a stunner. By about a five. But yeah, absolute stunner by Verdant, so I could have. Uh, hundred percent i couldn't recommend this beer anymore it is an absolute beauty it's enjoy the uncertainty 7.2 percent ipa get one that's all i can say so <laughs> thank you for watching um please drop us your thoughts below like and subscribe uh, follow me on Instagram at subjectsbeerYT, add me on the top subjectsbeer93 and hopefully I'll catch you on future videos. Cheers.